Guys, I am really excited because your minds are about to be blown. We do a lot of these case studies, but this one is kind of special. So Asia Gregg joined Location Rebel Academy a few years ago, started with you know basic content SEO writing, and has now become one of the best copywriters I have ever seen. She does it full time. She lives in Mexico. Because of that, internet connection might be a little spotty. We'll see how this works. Um, but I'm excited to tell you her story and have her give some insight into her experience with Location Rebel Academy and go from there. Asia. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time to chat today. Thanks for having me, Sean, of course. Dude, so let's go back a few years before you joined Location Rebel. Where were you at? Why did you decide you wanted to join the course? Like, where were you at in life? Were you happy? Like, what was the, you know, what brought you here? No, I, I hated my job. You know, I, that's what drew me to Location Rebel so much. I don't know. If, do, you, do you know of a lot of people that come to Location Rebel that are just super satisfied with their lives? Very few, very few. <laughs> yeah, um, I was in a job that I didn't appreciate. I was surrounded by cubicle walls every day, you know, no window in sight. And yep. I found myself more and more on all of my lunches and my breaks and right before work and right after work, I would be on the computer looking up basically how to escape my own jail cell. And <laughs> I found location 180. That was, yep. I think yours was the first one I found. So for those yeah. of you who don't know, location 180 was what this blog and what my blog was called before it was location rebel. So for years, that was what it was called. And then we made the switch in 2016. Location rebel was the course, location 180 was the blog. Now it's all under the same name. Continue. <laughs> and uh, you were talking about working from home and, or anywhere, you know, anywhere in the world, which really enticed me because I also wanted the freedom to travel. I didn't want to be tied down. I wanted to be able to work wherever I had an internet connection. You know, I did the whole read, you know, Ferris's four hour work week, you know, right. <laughs> consume books like that, find more resources online. And um, then I heard about WDS. You said you were doing this thing called WDS, World Domination Summit. Yep. And it happened to only be three and a half hours away from where I was. And I had a bunch of personal time built up with this job, call center, by the way, one of the okay. many great jobs you can have. And um, they wouldn't give me the time off, even though I requested it like a month in advance. You know, I didn't have a ticket for WDS. I just wanted to go hang out and find out what was happening. Absolutely. And Joel Runyon was offering to take people bungee jumping. So I got a ticket for that. So you're like, cool people, go bungee jumping. I've got the time off. This should not be an issue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or I've well, got the vacation and, days. I should be able to take well, the time off. <laughs> yeah, and they didn't give it to me. And so I quit. Because I, was, I, was I didn't like, know that part of the story. Yeah, I was like, I'm not going to miss this. I'm going to go. For some reason, I just feel like I have to go. I hate this job. Bold move. <laughs> <laughs> zero safety net <laughs> oh my god so okay so you do that you come to wds was it everything you were hoping to get out of it how did that go oh it was it was nuts you know um i went to your you had a barbecue and so that was yep. the first time we met mm -hmm. and i was just so intimidated and i was so <laughs> overwhelmed because all these people are you know i knew nothing about anything yeah you know, working from home working online you know seo what what's that so, whole new world yeah exactly and uh made a ton of friends you know jumped off a bridge had a great you know party that weekend with all you guys and i was hooked and i i you know i i had joined location rebel at that time yeah I okay. had this. I, I think that was why I went down to hang out with everybody anyway, because I wanted to just get fully like jump. Like I'm part of this community, like yeah. it's all similar types of people. Let's go meet these people in person and really like take this to the next step. Yeah, because I wanted to find out too, like, you know, are you full of shit? Yeah, that's the big question. Like, you know, people legitimately be like, is this a scam? Is this the real thing? So we'll we'll get to that. But what was your what was your experience like as you were getting going? Was I full of shit? Was it a scam? Did it work? 
No, I mean, I think one of the first things I said to you was you talk exactly like you sound in my head when I read your writing, you know? You- Which is the best compliment anybody. I, I tell people, I hope I'm exactly who you think I am, like when you meet me in person. Like, I hope my online persona and my real life persona is exactly the same. That's how I know, like, I'm being authentic and doing a good job. So thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were. and it, oh, And I was like, okay, you know. I can trust this guy, you know, because totally. he's, he's exactly the same, you know, online as he is in person. Totally. And so it just kind of went from there and the rest of the weekend was great. Met a lot of wonderful people that yep. I'm still friends with to this day, still in touch with. Oh, that's awesome. So you have this great weekend at WDS. You've joined Location Rebel. You still, you know, you don't have a job at this point. You're trying to figure out what's next. What happened when you got into the course and you started learning about kind of the idea of freelance writing? Like, did you find a job right away? Like, how did you, how did it, how did it go when you first dove into the world of freelance writing? I was really intimidated. Yeah. You know, I was really scared. I was, you know, even though I made friends and stuff that whole weekend, I was still like, I do not belong here, you know, because yeah. all of the, most of the people I met that weekend and most of the stories that you hear about people who quit their business to start their own online business, they have, you know, jobs, like good jobs that they quit, you know, like high profile finance job, or I quit my job at software development and decided to start my own company, you know, or I've got have, all like, this money in the bank. I've got like the, like the <laughs> ability to like, you know, figure my life out or whatever. Yeah, exactly. You know, like they have MBAs, you know, they have like fancy degrees and stuff. And I still don't have a degree and I didn't, I know I quit a shitty job, you know, it it wasn't like I quit a job that I had a ton of skills from, you know, and uh, I lived in a trailer park, you know, I was, (laughs) you know, super poor, super intimidated, super scared. And I, um, I just kept, I, I followed the SEO article writing course. I was like, okay, I will just do what he tells me. I'm just going to follow step by step and see what happens. Yes. And I got my first gigs from Location Rebel, from the members, because there's a job board that's posted yeah. on them for people that are posting gigs. And that's where I got my first gigs that got the ball rolling for me. Awesome. So how long did you, because you first get started and you're like, okay, maybe it's a fluke. I got like a few jobs from like, you know, the community how long did it take before you're like, Oh, this is like a career. Like this could be a thing and support me full time. How long did it take for you to get to that point? <laughs> I don't know if I'm still at that point. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like true entrepreneurs, like true freelancer, true entrepreneur. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like it's still like good months, bad months. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. you never really know. This, so, okay, could, that's all, a, <laughs> this could all so still crash and burn. <laughs> How have you dealt with that, with the uncertainty of not knowing, like, you know, the uncertainty of not having certain revenue? (laughs) I've gotten used to it, I guess. Um, Yeah. It's still definitely stressful sometimes. Yep. Um, Moving to a different country has definitely helped, you know. Yeah. Making dollars but spending pesos. Totally. A lot easier than making dollars and spending dollars. Yeah. Um, just changing my lifestyle a little bit too. I'm, yeah. uh, I guess I consume less. Um, it's like, you kind of do all the things that everybody like says, Oh, I should consume less. I should pare down my life. I should like go someplace that inspires me that most people are too afraid to ever actually do. You kind of did, which I respect a ton. I think it's super cool. Yeah, thanks. And um, I don't know. I just, I made peace with it. I made peace, you know, because there's nothing certain in this world anyway. You know, like, even if you have, like, a job that you know you're going to have next week and that you're going to get paid the same amount, you know, week in, week out. Yep. You know, people especially, like, us that are doing this online stuff, we know that there's really no such thing as, like, a lifelong career anymore anyway. Totally. People our age are definitely going to switch careers at least five times in their life. I think it is something yep. like that now. And so there's really, you know, there's a false sense of security 
that yeah. a lot of people have. But really, there is not a whole lot that's promised for you tomorrow or anything. And so just kind of living in the moment and, you know, just and being I, grateful for what you have that day and trying as best as you can to make sure that you have a good day tomorrow and next week, you know, is about all I could do. A hundred percent. And that's like one of the things that's kind of kept me going with Location Rebel. I mean, we were just talking before, we've been around for 11 years. And it is the fact that there isn't any certainty, like one job or one revenue stream can like totally dry up. And so like one of the things for me that I think is the coolest about Location Rebel is the fact that it gives people the tools and helps them build, you know, different opportunities, whether you want to start a blog through like hobby hacking or whether you want to become a freelance writer or whatever, it's giving you all these different options so that if all of a sudden, like, you know, your blog affiliate revenue dries up, cool, you can still lean back on freelancing because you've developed the skills to be able to do that. And so, you know, for people that are sitting here watching this, I think that's something to kind of consider if you're like in your day job, and the only money you've got coming in is your paycheck, then it's like, okay, there probably is something to be said for diversifying a little bit. So if that goes away, you still have a little bit of security. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I do. I do agree with that. And what I love about Location Rebel too is sometimes I'll wander back in there and check out blueprints that I've never checked out before, like a product yeah. design or what, what's that? Um, yeah, we've got a design, like the basic elements of design blueprint, um, you know, information products. You know, I've got a few that are kind of around that. Yeah. And it's fun just to poke around and go, oh, you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll go through this one and just see, you know, you know, maybe, maybe this will jive with me. Maybe I'll like something in here or maybe something will click with, you know, cause when I first went through SEO content writing, that was the only one I was like, okay, maybe I could do that. You know, yeah. I could probably hit the ground running with that. Okay. But a lot of yep. the other yep. ones I was like, there's no way. You know? I'm not <laughs> qualified for this. Like Man, how much a month copywriting? Are you? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, um, we're going to start with the most basic thing, but it's like, it's the ultimate bridge business, you know, you know, was kind of SEO writing. Now it's just kind of general, you know, content writing. Um, it's a skill that, you know, most of us have, most of us can write on some level. You don't have to be a world-class writer. Um, did you find that when you were first getting going, like you didn't necessarily have any formal writing training or any background in it, right? No, I didn't have any writing training and they don't want, you know, most of them don't want like Shakespearean, you know, words, you know, they just yeah. you know, talk normal, you know, <laughs> yep. there you go information, you know, um, you know, learn a couple things, you know, maybe learn about like night, like sentence transitions or something, which are super easy to figure out. And yeah. if you can, if you read it and it sounds almost normal, like you're talking, then you're probably good, you know, for the most well, part. Totally. And so you've made this transition. You started out basic content writing and now you're doing like full-time copywriting and your writing is hilarious. So tell me a little bit about the type of writing you're working, working on. And specifically, tell me the Piccolo story because it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I started copywriting sort of by accident. Yeah. Um, I wrote an ad for a Piccolo that I had to sell a few years back. And, you know, for the first eight months, I posted it like bi-weekly on Craigslist and nobody wanted to buy this thing. And it was yeah. just facts like bullet point facts of like, you know, this is how old it is. This is how well it performs. You know, it was, you know, appraised at this amount, you know, asking the right. same, amount, please take it. And nobody, nobody emailed me. Not once, not, not one a single hour. even like inquiry. <laughs> no, not even like, I'll give you 50%, like, which I probably would have taken at that point. You know, like yeah. if you'd have caught me like seven and a half months in and offered me like, a hundred bucks for it. I would have been like, fine, just fine, take, take it away. It. <laughs> so you what know, happened? I was, I was selling it for 300, but I totally, I probably would have paid somebody to take it at that point. I just <laughs> wanted it anymore. Now but, you're just pissing me off having to look at you. <laughs> well, I was getting ready to come down here. So I was trying to offload everything, you know? Yeah. I didn't, you know, and especially, you know, even though it's this big, you don't want to carry that around, especially when you hate it. <laughs> so, so, and, and and you do hate it. So tell me, tell me about this. Oh, I really hate it. Yeah. I, I had to play that thing for like, you know, I don't know how many years. <laughs> I never yeah. enjoyed it once. <laughs> yeah. But it, 
finish the story because then your hatred for this thing really comes out. <laughs> yeah. Well, after eight months and nobody wanted it, I got, I just got pissed. You know, I got yeah. mad. So I wrote this ad. I was like, who cares if it doesn't work? Cause obviously it hasn't been working the past eight months. So I just wrote some 500 word ad about how it had crazy powers to it. And I went to sleep after I published it and I woke up the next morning and I had like hundreds of offers in my inbox and, people, and it was like literally like hundreds, right? <laughs> yeah. I was like, what is this? What is and, going on? Yeah. And not even they, you know, some of them weren't even offers. Some of them were people that were just like, you just made my day, you know, and yeah. <laughs> which, which were my favorite ones, you know? And so it, it kind of flipped it from please buy my piccolo to, Oh, I get to choose who gives me money. This is a really cool feeling. Yeah. It's like, Oh, this is, I should have been doing this from the beginning. Yeah, exactly. And, um, yeah, one of, one of the emails was like, uh, you know, this is going viral on Facebook. Right. And I, it was went around Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff. Uh, the musician community was just sharing the hell out of it. And then there was, you know, a few emails that were like, this is offensive. This will never work. This is horrible. You should take that down. I'm reporting you. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Okay. One was like, that's how, you know, you've written good copy when you've divided people, you've got people that love it and people that hate it. If everybody's just like, whatever, then it's not going to do anything. Yeah. And I, you know, and if I had just received the negative complaints, I would have been like, Oh no, I did something wrong. But it was like, two or three drops in an ocean of people that were just like, this is hilarious. But well, yeah, one of them was like, you'll never sell a piccolo this way. And I was, and that was like email number, like 175. I was like, okay, delete. <laughs> okay, delete. <laughs> Joke's on you, lady. But what's cool about this is that kind of started like your copywriting career and turned into this, like you've now got this like niche for yourself where you're really good at writing classified ads for different products and you use humor to do it. So not only are you selling products, but you're entertaining people in the process. So would you say that's kind of like what you're doing? Like that is kind of your, your niche, like using humor to, to sell things. Yeah, for sure. That's my wheelhouse. I find it really hard to not write in my own voice. You know, I don't yeah. know. I don't know if I, cause I used to, you know, you'd have to change your tone, SEO article writing, you have to change your tone, you know, for which website you're writing for and stuff. Right. Now that I've been doing this for a while, it would be really hard for me to just, you know, do a 180 and, you know, do a commercial, like in these trying times, you know? Yeah. You're just like, that's <laughs> not going to work for me unless you're doing it ironically. <laughs> yeah. Unless it's ironically, unless it's a parody, then yeah, let's go for it. But yeah, that's so, definitely what I love doing now is writing humorous stuff and making people laugh. That's awesome. Like just to see how you went through this transition of like, I quit my job to go hang out with a bunch of people that I thought were kind of doing things that I like to do to being afraid and starting it anyway and starting down the writing journey to then, you know, morphing, you kind of did the transition everybody wants to make. I'm going to start freelance writing and then get into copywriting where you can make a little bit more money, have more fun with it, work with more fun clients. And I just think that whole like, you know, sequence is, is super cool. So, um, you know, congratulations on making that transition because a lot of people aren't able to, um, with, with that said, for the person who's sitting here, they're watching this, they're like, you know, I'm still not sure if Sean's legit. I'm still not sure if this course is right for me. I'm thinking about buying it. Like what advice would you give to that person that's maybe on the fence and trying to figure out if this is the right fit for them? The biggest thing for me that Location Rebel gave me was the freedom to explore what else I wanted to do. I didn't necessarily think I was going to be doing SEO copywriting and I was going to become like a SEO, you know, article rock star. But totally. I, but I knew as soon as I jumped into it, I go, oh, you know, I don't necessarily need to become, you know, a rock star at one of these things that he's, you know, teaching me. But I understood that this is giving me a huge opportunity to because now I have the freedom to explore you know different options totally. there's a million different options out there that I never even could see until I joined Location Rebel and then I was like oh and so I went from just oh you know I wish one day I could do this to actually being proactive in finding ways to do that. And it never would have happened without Location Rebel. It never would have happened without 
finding your blog and meeting you and going to WDS, that was the other part too. I was like, okay, these people are awesome and I want to hang out with them more and I like being their friends. So what are they doing that can <laughs> allow me to hang out with them more? And since I met you and I knew you were legit, I was like, okay, I'm going to follow his advice the best I can. And, and thank God I did. <laughs> Well, it's awesome to hear. It's awesome to see the, you know, success that you've had. And one of the great things about Location Rebel that I, at least I think it's one of the biggest benefits is, you know, you joined years ago, but you still come back into the community and, you know, give feedback and give advice. And, you know, it's not like a lot of other courses where it's like, yeah, it's like a monthly thing that goes on forever. It's like when you join, like you're part of our community, you're part of our family. And so we've got people at every step along the way. We've got people that are just joining today, like, as you're watching this, there's someone else who's also joining that's in the same like boat as you. There's people that joined six months ago and have had a little bit of success and they're like two steps ahead of you and have done the things that you're now working on. And we have the people that, you know, have been doing it for a long time and can come back and share some of their wisdom. So I think that's one of the cool aspects of it. And I always appreciate seeing your name in there when you do hop in and, uh, you know, give your feedback on things. Oh, and I love it too, because I, I, I still remember writing my, like, introduction like the first ever post in there i was just like oh, gosh, oh, gosh. You know, i'm the dumbest yeah. person here for, by far you know like by far okay don't fuck it up you know but yeah <laughs> and then you know i realized that everybody in there is so welcoming and so nice and so eager to help but also eager to ask questions you know yeah. and that's what i learned too is you know, you can ask any question in there that you want. There's going to be somebody in there that has an answer and there's going to be a ton of people with a ton of different perspectives and different. hundred percent. When I'm seeing all these other people give this great advice and I'm going, wow, you know, I would never have thought of that. Or there's no way I'm ever going to be smart enough to be able to say something, you know, that helpful, that valuable. And now I can come back in and, like, oh, you know, I know something turn, about this. <laughs> yeah, and I could turn around and help some people who are asking like, hey, can I get feedback on this? Or what do you think about this? I appreciate all of that. And I've, you know, I keep saying it, but thank you for being part of our community. Um, I feel like I need to let you go since you're a very popular person right now with foam. Um, <laughs> if, uh, if there's people that are like, I want to hire this person to, you know, do some copywriting for me, or I just want to get in touch, is there a way people can find you online? Or what's the best way? You know, people can get a hold of you. I bought a domain, but I haven't. I, you know, I've been working on setting it up, but I have an email. It's either asia.greg at gmail, or you can get at me in location rebel. I think I'm asia.greg, or you can uh, email me through my work email, which is asia at wizardofads.com because I partnered with an ad agency a couple of years ago, the Wizard of Ads. So awesome. <laughs> I have two wonderful tribes that I'm a part of now, all because of this tribe. Well, three wonderful tribes if you count WDS. It's just, yeah, Location Rebels just opened up my world, man. And I, Dude. I dreamed about sitting here, you know, years ago when I was in my cubicle. Yeah. And sometimes it still hits me like, I'm actually doing what I'm I actually, this is real life right now. Yeah, yeah, this is real, you know. Yeah, that's so cool. Well, thank you so much for being part of the community, for sharing like all these stories and wisdom and everything. I'm super inspired by you. I know there's going to be other people as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you have a great rest of the day and thanks again for, for being a part of this. Thank you. It was good talking to you, man. You too.